I'm meteorologist Michelle McLeod bringing you your forecast for portions of the Northeast. And I'm going to give you two important things off the top. We're going to talk heat and we're going to talk the potential for flooding. So here's what your heat surge is looking like from Thursday into your Saturday. It's going to be hot. Some of the hottest days of the summer for some. You're going to have increasing humidity. Your highs are going to be 6 to 12 degrees above your historical averages. Now, I know that folks, some of you don't like the heat, but remember, winter's only a few short months away. So take it how you were, good or bad for that news. Now we're going to switch into the flooding portions. Look, places like Burlington, Montpelier, Albany, Keene, and Sherbrooke will be getting on the highest risk of flooding. You have extreme rainfall rates at times, localized flash flooding with some rapid rises on creeks and streams. So let's break it down for you. We've got the AccuWeather Heat Wave Severity Index for Philadelphia. I've got two places. You're seeing your heat wave just starting. It's going to be moderate, but all heat waves are dangerous, so take the necessary precautions on this one. New York, you're up too. You're seeing yours as well, moderate, but again, they're dangerous, so make sure you do what you can to keep you, your family, and your friends safe. Now here's the breakdown. I've got some showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Temps are going to be anywhere from the 80s to the 90s along the eastern seaboard, seeing some of the hottest air in the region. Now there is going to be a severe component attached to that. New York City already got in on some damaging straight line winds a couple days ago. You're having the potential for that again. It's going to be more isolated in the yellow, seeing all modes of severe weather. Montpelier, Albany, Cohoes, seeing the more numerous storms again all modes of severe weather possible friday you're seeing those temps still in the 80s and 90s but you're seeing portions of like albany and buffalo detroit well this is courtesy a cold front that's going to make its way a little farther south albeit slowly so you're going to see the heat south of that north of that things will be a little cooler we do have an area of severe weather attached to that before we get to that, look how hot things are going to get when all factors are considered. Columbus, Charleston, D.C. Metro, 105 to 110 degrees where the AccuWeather Real feels. Buffalo, places like Kane, PA, looking at 95 to 100 degrees. In New York City, your AccuWeather Real field temperature is 100 to 105 degrees. Yes, there is a severe component attached to this. Detroit, seeing the numerous storms, Cleveland, Erie, and places in Chautauqua County looking at the more isolated storms. Main threats, flooding downpours, hail, and localized damaging wind gusts. As if you needed any more severe weather on Saturday, while well, I have this cold front making its way a little farther south, seeing showers and thunderstorms, there is an isolated component of severe weather, seeing flooding downpours, localized damaging wind gusts, and of course that could cause some travel disruptions. If you are tired of the heat and humidity, I got you. Look at what's going on Sunday into your Tuesday. That jet is dipping a little farther south, bringing cooler air and much less humid air to a lot of portions of the Northeast.